15th of December. 2018, I've just been released from the hospital. Uh, the Princess of Wales in Bridge End. And um, I've been recovering from a hunger strike, uh, which is best summed up in saying that in the months of October and November of 2018, I did not need to sit on a loose seat. And this wasn't for saving trees, it's the fact that I have had to do a hunger strike of over two months in order to finally get the evidence from Caswell Clinic, Glen Reed Hospital, Bridge End, of when in 2009 I had been residing uh, under protest in custody awaiting trial for an alleged offence of trading in machine guns. At that point in time, in September 2009, with the trial due on the 10th of January, or the 23rd of January, I think it might have been, the 26th, um, the police realised that I was likely to win the trial because, of course, it had been an antique Battle of the Somme, World War I, Lewis machine gun, bolted to an old biplane I had, a DH-2 replica, which I had been asked to fly at Farnborough Air Show with, by Captain Trudshaw in 2000. Now, a year earlier, I had sold that aircraft with the gun, and somebody had a bright idea in the police HQ in Bridge End that in order to stop my civil damages claim, uh, which had been going on for about 15 years, uh, I had won over 40 malicious prosecutions brought by the South Wales Police, mainly to do with motoring, uh, and me catching people, breaking into the surgery, and so on. Um, and, I, and due to my 89% success rate in criminal allegations brought against me, they knew that the civil damages claim, which needed over 200 witnesses, mainly police officers, um, it had to be stopped. And so they stopped it by setting up a series of imprisonments for me. Now, why I'm only talking about the machine gun trial is because nine years after I was acquitted, with no need to call any evidence in my defence, I have eventually progressed with civil damages. The Welsh authorities are determined never to allow this to come to trial because, of course, when they went to get the machine gun from the Lincolnshire Air Museum, they found that the museum had painted it a different colour to when I used to own it. So the senior inspectors South Wales Police HQ said, oh, paint it back to black and we'll fool the jury. Um, but of course they had to unblock the barrel in order to make the gun illegal. But unfortunately it fell apart in court because the person who bought it, the jury were asking, well, why isn't he in the dock with Mr Kirk? And also the fact that um, the guy who sold it to me was also a prosecution witness made the whole case a farce. But of course, in the witness statement and in evidence on cross-examination by me, the new owner of the machine gun and the aircraft, he said, well, this is interesting because the police brought it back to me a few weeks ago, just before the trial. Uh, and I said, let me just check if it's the same gun, because that's the police wanted reassurance that it was the same gun. And unfortunately, he he, he, he blew it for the police because he said, let me just check the barrel. And he put a welding rod down. He said, oh, that's interesting because it was blocked when I bought it from Mr. Kirk and now it's unblocked. Well, of course, had that case been heard in England in an English Crown Court, the judge would have uh, stopped the trial immediately. Uh, but I'm an Englishman in South Wales. But we won't harp on about that. I had just been released from hospital after 
two-month prison uh, um, hunger strike in order that the doctors in prison had to consider whether I was mentally ill. And six of them, five of them have been named, saying, well, we need to see the full records of Mr. Kirk when he was sectioned under the, um, the 1983 Act in 2009 in order to be locked up for three months in Council Clinic, where the police were trying to get me then sectioned to Ashford High Security Hospital for life. Well, the good news is that the hunger strike has caused them to ask in writing, and I have now been told by a number of doctors whilst in custody in the prison that they have asked police who've admitted that they have withheld those favourable medical records that were needed in rebuttal on the 2nd of December 09 at that secret Crown Court hearing where I was not allowed to attend and I was not legally represented. But my sister Celia managed to get part of the transcript before they shredded the lot and that is the good news. And that is why I appear to be in great form. But I'm not, because I'm finding it difficult to recover this time from the hunger strike. Um, and uh, now I have to find a lawyer. It'll have to be someone in England, because no one around here will touch it, to go back to court to say the 10 prison terms that Mr. my client, Mr. Kirk, has now served in America, France, Africa. South Wales Police took the, uh, all the three um, prisons over the last nine years based on this false information. Um, it's now liable to be overturned, but I need a good lawyer who's not frightened of the South Wales Police. So that's where I'm going next. <laughs>